Hello, and welcome to Papa Hector's podcast. I hope everyone is doing awesome. So, as always, <clears throat> make sure you subscribe. I'll tell you all that in a minute. But today's topic is two things that you need for your ultimate success. So, of course, go ahead and subscribe to our podcast at iTunes, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Anchor.fm, Stitcher, or Spotify, as well as any of your other favorite podcast apps. You can also check me out at HectorSalva.com, H-E-C-T-O-R-S-A-L-V-A, Dot com, and you'll find tons of good stuff there. I'm not going to explain it all. <laughs> you'll see it. You'll want to sign up for that newsletter. You'll want to go ahead and check out YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. You'll find me there too. So, moving right into today's topic. Two things that you need. Two things that you need. Two things that you need to get to the kingdom. To get to that ultimate success. Without these two things, you can't. The first thing is yourself. You need to bring yourself. You need to bring all of yourself to the table. You can't simply bring a piece of yourself To reach the ultimate, all of yourself is needed. And this, this is not going to come without great effort. Great effort will be needed for you to bring all of yourself. For you to bring the totality No part of you can be left behind. If you leave a part of you behind, then You have not brought yourself. You have not come You are not at the door You cannot knock. Without the knocking, no one can answer. The house can be filled.
yet no one knows you're at the door because you are not at the door. A piece of you has been left behind. A piece of you has stayed behind. You are not there at the door. Jesus called upon some disciples he looked upon them he said to them He said to them, Come, follow me. Come and follow me. Okay. <clears throat> the man replied, Lord, let me first go to my father and bury him. My father has died. Jesus responds, Let the dead bury their own dead, but you go and proclaim the kingdom. Another said, I will follow you, but first let me go back and say goodbye to my family. Jesus responds, no one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom of God. Who can serve God but a God? Let's look here. He calls unto them. He says, follow me. And he says, no, let me go bury my daddy first. Let me go bury my father. And Jesus says, let the dead bury their own dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Let the dead bury their own dead. Without the knowing of God, without the knowing of the totality, you are dead. You are just a zombie. And everyone is dead. And the world is filled with zombies. There's no need for voodoo priests to come around to make zombies. The world is plentiful of them half alive and half dead. Let the dead bury their own dead. Let those who are half dead bury those who have died. You go and proclaim the kingdom. 
You go and proclaim the kingdom. We need to look at this word. Proclaim. Okay. Proclaiming is declaring. Declaring what someone considers important publicly. But proclaiming also means to demonstrate. To live in the kingdom of freedom, joy, and bliss. And through your living, become alive and proclaim through your existence. To cry out, to shout out, to bear forth. Okay. Pro means forth. So bear forth freedom. Bear forth. Bear forth bliss. What is a claim? A claim is an assertion that something is so with or without providing evidence or proof. Okay, to claim is to call out, is to bear forth in a calling out of a truth. So Jesus says, let the dead bury their dead. To come with me, you must be total. You, all of you must come. You must be all here, all with me. Another says, let me say goodbye to my family. And Jesus responds, no one who puts a hand to the plow and looks back is fit for service in the kingdom. No one who is at the door, who is at the door of freedom, joy, and bliss and looks back, looks back, meaning is still in the way of the world is still in the kingdom of the world can enter you're not fit you have to bring all of yourself because you are needed you are what's needed you are what's necessary all of you every part of you the good the bad the beautiful the ugly. You are what's important. The second thing that's needed is demonstrated right here in this same story. The second thing that's needed is the master. The master to guide you. You need someone who can share with you. 
who knows the way, who has walked the trail many times. Who knows the mountain, knows the journey, all ancient traditions, all ancient teachings speak of the Master. And the need of the spiritual master, the need of the master in order for the disciple to make that journey. Beyond what can be seen. A master does more way more much more than you can ever even begin to it know or acknowledge until you've also made that journey and have come out the other side until you have come through the door and you have become the bliss, the freedom and the joy You've become the freedom, the joy, the bliss. But you'll need someone. Someone who knows the way. Someone who can take you there and back. But the ways of this world and the way of your mind and your ego, it wants to say no. No, no, it doesn't want to accept the master, it doesn't want to see, it's filled with fear. It wants to falsely believe that it can achieve it all by itself. It doesn't want to accept the need for help. But you are just the seed. And the master is just the flower. The flower of that very same seed. Fear is not needed. A master is showing you what you too can be. A master is a living, breathing example 
of your greatest potential too. A master is simply showing you that if you're willing to go through the process, this is what you can achieve too. This is what you can reach too. You can also reach. You can also bloom, blossom and flower. I'm here to share with you. To share with you. So that you can blossom and bloom and flower. You are the seed. The beginning. But you haven't gone through the process of the growth. Of going from the seed to the tree to the flowering. And a master is here to help you do just that. But especially here in the Western world, the ego, the society, the culture has made it so that you can't accept it. You want to do everything on your own. You think you can do everything on your own. If you are to accept a master, you would think that it means that you are weak. But in fact, only those who accept a master are strong. Only they have the strength to acknowledge real, the reality, and the real need for the master. Weakness is he who cannot accept the reality of that need. That is weak. You cannot do everything. You cannot do everything on your own. Everyone likes to believe that they don't need people. However, people need people. For you to have everything that you currently have, Electric, Wi-Fi, cars, houses, many, many hands came together and worked. Money, all these things, to make these things. If you had to do it all on your own, it would be impossible. You live a good life because whether or not you realize it, many people contribute their lives to doing certain tasks that allow you freedom to do other things. 
people are needed. The master is needed. And it's because of both this and the lack of true masters. Masters are few, always. That people are in such a sick state. They are so ill. Mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually ill. And the illnesses just continue to compound. Because this essential need this essential relationship has disappeared. It's few and far to come by. As I conclude here, remember, you are needed the totality of you are needed. All of you is needed. Remember, the strong see what they need. Make acknowledgements of who and what they are and move appropriately. May this sharing of wisdom and truth have illuminated for you many blessings and keep the faith. As always, go ahead and click subscribe, iTunes, Apple Podcast. Google Podcasts, Anchor.fm, Stitcher, Spotify, your favorite podcast app. Check me out, HectorSalva.com, H-E-C-T-O-R-S-A-L-V-A. Dot com. B as in victory. A dot com. <laughs> so many blessings unto all of you. May you all have a joyous, blessed, and beautiful week.